Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Father, whose creating hand brings harvest from the fruitful land, your providence we gladly own and bring our hymns before your throne to praise you for the living bread on which our lives are daily fed. O Lord, who in the desert fed the hungry thousands in their need, where want and famine still abound, let your relieving love be found. And in your name may we supply your hungry children when they cry. O oh, Spirit, your revealing light has led our questing souls aright. Source of our science, you have taught the marvels human minds have wrought, so that the barren deserts yield the bounty by your love revealed. With his right hand, God has raised him up as King and Savior. Alleluia. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, and for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With his right hand, God has raised him up as King and Savior. Alleluia. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you protect and strengthen those who hope in you. You heard the cry of your Son and kept him safe in your tent in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in time of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. From him, through him, and in him all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. 
It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From him, through him, and in him all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. A reading from Hebrews chapter 7. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood which does not pass away. Therefore he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priest, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. If you live in me, and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you live in me, and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. Christ rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Let us pray to him, saying, Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Lord, remember all who minister in your service. May their holy lives be an example to your people. Give to those who govern us the spirit of justice and peace, so that the human family may live in harmony. Guide our days in the way of salvation, and fill the earth with your plenty for the sake of the needy. Christ our Savior, light of the world, you are called creation from death to life. May your light shine forever on our departed brothers and sisters. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of all holiness, guide our hearts to you. Keep in the light of your truth all those you have freed from the darkness of unbelief. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.